Alexander Burganov's name is associated with the birth of surrealism in Russia. His sculptures can be found across Europe, Asia and the United States. And now the 85-year-old is taking showcase on a private tour of his Burganov house, a state-run museum in Moscow. <laughs> I was introduced to art by my father. He was a mathematician, but he probably wanted to be an artist. And that's why it all started by him. Then there were, of course, excellent teachers. For my long life, which I did not expect that God would provide me with, the main thing that I understood it is necessary to listen to that subconsciousness stream that passes through us continuously. Therefore, today I am associated with surrealism. For the first time, I was called like that by my friend Pierre Cardin. Although we can say that surrealism in Russia began with Gogol. Well, I don't stick to any rules, I just do what I like. And this is the basis of my creative routine. I think that I certainly have a happy destiny in terms of realizing creativity. I have many works in different museums, both in the West and in Russia. Thanks God, I have my workshop, the opportunity to work. And this is the most important thing. The artist creates his own alphabet, his vocabulary with which he communicates with others. I went away from copying nature, which was traditional and classical painting or art, and came to symbolic elements from which I make up the meaning of what I want to say. And among them, of course, the hand occupies a huge place. I am very often asked, what is a hand? And in my view, this hand is the face of God. When I say God, I say a creator, including an artist. And therefore, it is no coincidence that it is just a symbol of meaning and then so all-embracing that it replaces any portrait and any image of a person. Therefore, the hand personifies a human being as a whole. In my work, I have not done any bespoken work that would not meet my soulful needs. I just look inside myself and inside each person who communicates with me. I want to see those main driving forces that make up the meaning of his existence. I made a lot of portraits and mainly people who are symbols, such as Pushkin. He is a symbol of poetry, a symbol of tragedy, a symbol of beauty. He is some kind of a symbol of Russia. I never thought that I will have a museum, but it means a lot to me. When you understand that your works do not leave the workshop, but they all gather into one natural whole, then it inspires very much. In the last centuries, the orientation was towards painting, but today, sculpture as a spatial volumetric body, like some magical idol, it returns again to its main place. Now, with the help of modern technology, you can just make a copy, stop the life. But I think that this is not the art of sculpture. This is the art of technology. But the art of sculpture, it is to make such an object that is not only surprises, but it helps people live and fight for good.